Hello and welcome back to our second video of the Unity tutorial series on how to create your own avatar for VRChat. We just uh, set up Unity and imported all the assets to get started and now it's the part where we configure our FBX file and add the avatar descriptor. The first thing you want to do is click on the FBX file, go into the rig type and be sure that the rig is set to humanoid. If it's in generic, your locomotion animations won't work, so it's a very important step. Then the next step would be to click on configure down here and check if every bone is set up correctly. In my case the chest bone is missing, so I will just drag the chest bone from the hierarchy in the chest bone slot. And I also will delete the toe bones because I always had trouble with them. Be sure to also delete the jawbone, because in my case I will have some plant shapes to move my mouth with. And just check if everything is put in the right spot. For me this is fine. The next thing would be to look if your FBX file is actually standing on the ground, because sometimes models are like mine, a little bit in the ground. And I don't want to walk under the ground while moving. So I'll just drag it on the ground like this. This looks really good. And the last step would be to click on apply down here. This will just save everything and we are done in here. Nice, nice. So the next is the materials. We actually want to extract the materials from our model, so we can edit everything in there. So this will uh, let you choose a folder. I will create a materials folder. And just choose this one. This just put in two standard shaders for us. I will click on both of them. Oh, actually not. This is a transparent one and the other one is a opaque or cutout one. So the transparent one will be the Pro Transparent shader from Payomi and the normal one will be the cutout version. So as we can see, the Avatar looks a little different now because of the shading and stuff. Okay. The pictures are put in correctly. I just prepared everything for that. Good. The next thing would be to click on the highest part of your avatar and click on add component and search for VRC and select the avatar descriptor. This is basically how to set up the avatar in general. Uh, the first thing is to put your avatar viewpoint to the right place. It's mostly a little higher. Just click on the little edit button on the right and move it between your eyes. I re recommend to put it a little inside of the head and directly between the eyes like this and then just return. Next thing is the lip sync uh, to move your mouth when you're talking in game. The easiest is to click on auto detect and if everything gets put in place it's actually fine. If it's not, then just select your body mesh. First select uh, plan shapes or jaw flap, bone, uh, whatever your avatar uses. In my case, plan shapes. Drag on the body mesh and be sure to fill in every slot with the right for seam. PP is PP, FF, FF, yeah, and so on. This will make your avatar speak in game. The next thing is the eye look, so your avatar follows 
the person that you're looking at or talking with with your eyes and is blinking as well. The eye movement uh, basically says how long and how uh, yeah how long you will stare at somebody and how often you will blink. In my case, I will set it a little bit like this. Uh, the next thing is to put in your eye bones uh, from the armature. It's mostly under hips, spine, chest, neck, head. And then there you can find the left eye or and the right eye bone. Just drag these bones into the slots in here. And you're ready to put in the values down here to actually move your to actually set the the highest your eyes will move. In my case it's minus 30 for looking up. This is the highest I want my eyes to look up. 30 to look down, minus 30 to look left and 30 to look right. You can just preview these by clicking on preview. Everything looks fine for me. Next thing is making the eyes blink. Uh, in my case, I will select blend shapes because I have a blend shape on my body mesh. So I drag on my body mesh again. The blinking, I will just set to blink. And as you can see, when I preview it, it's just blinking normally. And the looking up and down, I will just set to none because we set up the eye look over here and it will just work fine. So the playable layers are basically what kind of locomotion animation you have. Your FX controller goes in here if you put in some animations, but we are all covering that in some later tutorials. The lower body on over here um, just says if you want to have a locomotion animation with your avatar while using full body tracking or three or four point tracking. A three point tracking is basically um, your headset and your hands. Four point tracking is when you use your hip as well and six point tracking is full body tracking. So just uncheck this to just slide around and if you have it checked it will have the basic animations with walking. So I actually recommend just using the checks and everything will be fine. The expression stone here, this is the, the menu that you can put on with the Avatar SDK 3. We, I also will cover this in the later tutorials or check out my other videos for that. This will actually work out now. We could upload the Avatar have some basic animations on there, like the dancing and stuff that you have in the generic avatars. And this should work. The thing to upload this right now would be to go to the VRChat SDK, click on show control panel, log in with your credentials. And over here you can see um, this skin mesh uh, has some plan shapes, blah, blah. Yeah, we can just auto fix that. Unity is very small in this way, this as well, the map, map textures, yes, you can just enable the streaming map maps, no problem. And the automatic lightning, we can also just click on auto fix over there. So as we can see, uh, the dynamic bones and stuff are not in here, so this will actually be rated with good because I uh, just use one mesh and two materials and not very many polygons. You can just test it uh, in VRChat to do that uh, without uploading. You can just click on the build and test down here. It will create a local file that only you can see, not your friends. But you can test out everything and it's way faster than uploading it. And if you want to publish it and has it a, have it as a public or private avatar, you will click on public, uh, build and publish for Windows. And this is everything with the SDK 
Avatar Descriptor and setting up the FPX file. So see you in another video.